Hey guys, and welcome to Simply Swim. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Hoob Transition Bag. So this bag's gonna be great whether you're gonna be doing a triathlon or you know, open water swimming or even heading out to the pool. It's got lots of pockets and as I say, the way that it's designed can carry all types of swimming gear. Anyway, let's take a closer look. Cool, so the transition bag is 32 litres in total, so you get lots of room and lots of storage as well. As you can see, if we take a look at the top here, you've got a really nice flat top on there, you've got a carry handle, and then obviously you've got your buckle systems for the straps. I'll go into that more detail later. On the top, you do have a nice large storage pocket, literally is that whole top section on there. Um, it's got a nice material kind of on the inside there, so maybe if you've got gear that may be waterproof or water resistant or like wet gear, so maybe your goggles you can slide in there and that should keep everything nice and dry. So the main entrance to the main bag itself is at the top, nice and wide. So on the top there you've got your identification panel for your name, telephone number and your email just in the case if you lose your bag. And on the inside you've got your main section. So it's one big open space, you've got separate netting on the back there so you can separate things. That's of course elasticated and on the inside you do have another zipped storage pocket as well. So as I say, you can really play around with that, customizing where you put things. The bag itself is wide enough for a kickboard, pool boy, as I say, it, tick, it ticks all the boxes when it comes to all types of gear. So on the front as well, you have an open stretch bag. So this is gonna be great for your grab and go items, whether that's gonna be a pool boy, you know, hand paddles or training gear. And it's all connected through this clasp system as well. So you can open it up. Again, that top, it does have some slight elastication to it. And you also have mesh on the side there. One for flexibility so you can stretch out the pocket, but then also as well, if you're putting some wet gear in there, that means the water itself is just gonna flush out on the side. Once all the gear's in there, clip that in, pull that up, and that's just gonna help that hold it all secure. Also on the front, you do have another zip pocket. Again, nice general space. Now, depending on what you put in here, will determine what you've put into there. So, de depending on the, like how low or how much you know stuff's in there, how much kit's in there, will determine what you can put into that pocket as well. But it's nice and wide, nice and easy. You've got reflective panels on the front there as well, so you can be seen during low light. And the zip itself is a nice, easy glide system. So, on the base of the bag itself, it's a very traditional triathlon bag. This is where you'd put all your wet. Gear. So as you can see, it is nice and spacious in there. It's nice and deep. You'll be able to get your tri suit in there, your running suit, any basically any wet gear after your race or after your swim. Pop it in there, seal it up, and then that means it's not going to you know get any of your other gear wet. And again, nice and easy to zip up. And the base as well is nice and tough as well. So if you are doing open water swimming or triathlon, it means you can pretty much chuck this bag to the side there and it's not gonna tear up. Anyway, let's take a look at the sides before we take a look at the back. You've got a nice traditional water bottle in there, so nice and spacious, elasticated top as well. And then just to show you as well, you have the same on the other side, but also as well, you do have another identification panel as well. So put your name, your email and whatever in there just to notify your back. Let's spin it round, let me just move the tag up there. So the back system itself is basically based on a very traditional rucksack. So you've got padding either side of the shoulder panels and then you've got nice padding in the base there. So that means no matter what sort of kit you're carrying in your bag, it's gonna be nice and comfortable on your back. You've got a nice traditional contrast strap on there, clips in nice and easily. You can tighten it up and loosen it up. You've got this section as well, just to show you the elastication that you have there and also the band that you do to tighten it up and to loosen it up. And what you can do as well, slide that up and down to play around with the overall adjustment. So you can really adjust that. The actual arm straps themselves are nice and padded. So again, it's gonna be nice and comfortable. And you've got two like loops on the top there as well. So say for instance, you've got uh, one of our, uh, you know, goggle cases with a carabiner, you can clip that to the front there. So as I say, nice full customization. So there we have it guys, that's the Hoob Transition Bag. If you'd like any more information on it, just head over to our website, simplyswim.com.